draw all the stereoisomers of 3-chloro-2,4-heptadiene. What's happening here is you have seven carbons in a row. You have two double bonds starting at carbons two and four in the chain, and you happen to have a chlorine atom on carbon three. Now I'm gonna give myself a rough sketch here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons in a row. A double bond from carbons two to three, and from four to five, there you go. And then we have a chlorine on carbon three itself. One, two, three, so we have a Cl. Now there are hydrogens on all the other carbons in all the other spaces, so there's one there, three here, one here, one here, two here, and three there. Okay, where can stereoisomerism play a role here? Two places I want you to always be looking. Number one is look for cis-trans isomers or double bonds. We have one double bond here, and in order for cis-trans or EZ uh, stereoisomerism to happen, the things attached to each of those carbons need to be different on both sides. What I mean is, this carbon has a methyl group and a hydrogen. Those are different. And this carbon has a chlorine and a, I don't know, four carbon chain here. Those are different. So this bond here can either be E or Z, aka cis or trans, okay? Now this double bond has the same flexibility because this carbon has, I don't know, a three carbon chain this way and a hydrogen here. Those are different things. This has a hydrogen and an ethyl group on it. Those are different things as well. Great. So that can also be E or Z cis or trans. Now, the other place I need you to look is around carbons that don't have double or triple bonds on them, but instead have four different things attached to them. That's how you'll find possible enantiomers where the spatial arrangement is different, but they're non-superimposable mirror images. This carbon does not have that because it has three, diff three hydrogens attached to it, so obviously the four things attached to carbon aren't all different. These carbons all have double bonds, so they can't. This carbon has two hydrogens, those are identical, so it doesn't have that. And car this carbon has three hydrogens, so it doesn't have that as well. So we don't have any enantiomers or RS isomerisms here. We only have the EZs around here. Now we're going to carefully draw them. We have a seven carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go, there's seven carbons in a row. And we got double bonds here and here. I'm gonna draw my chlorine here. That's one version of this molecule. I've clearly drawn these in a way that makes you think it's trans and uh, no, it's just not trans because of the rules that there are for chlorine here. But we're just here to draw them anyways. Priority one to convert this to a other stereoisomer is to copy the molecule out up to and including that double bond. So I'm going to go one, two with the double bond, but then I'm going to switch the chlorine for this whole carbon chain and vice versa. So now the chlorine goes up and I have a single bond here and I have to draw a trans double bond there. One, two, one, two, something like that. See how I took this end and put it down the direction the chlorine went in, and I took the chlorine and put it here, the direction that the carbon chain went in. This is like the E and Z isomers. I don't know which is which right now. I don't feel like figuring it out. Actually, you know what? I do feel like figuring it out. This one's the Z one, just in case you care. I know that because between hydrogen and carbon, carbon weighs more or like has a higher atomic mass. And between chlorine and carbon, chlorine has a higher one. So these are the groups that I care about and they're on opposite sides of the double bond. So it's Z, that's just how I figure it out. And then this one is E. Okay, but that's the Z and the E isomerism around the double bond that started at carbon two. Now I need to do the same thing or the same molecules 
but flip the isomerism on the fourth double bond, or the double bond from carbon four. So I'm going to copy out that molecule. I have my Cl here. There we go. And I'm going to do it here as well, just to make a point. One, that's carbon two. That's the chlorine on carbon three. That takes me to carbon four. Now I got to switch the isomerism around this double bond. I'm going to preserve it here, but I'm going to flip the direction that this goes in so that the rest of the carbon chain comes from below as it as shown here and then instead of continuing above get it opposite sides it now goes below as well and i just got to be careful about the way that i draw that make sure i have the right number of corners it's not my best work but whatever and here i can preserve this double bond but instead of going down from there i need to go up from there there we go so now what I have here is still my 2z here, except now I also have 4e. Yeah, yeah, and then this is 2e, and I've converted this to 4e as well. I guess that means that this was 4z, and this was 4z as well, yeah. So what I have here are all the possible combinations of e's and z's. I got... 2e 4e and 2z 4z i got 2e 4z and 2z 4e get it two possibilities for each of two double bonds two times two that's four here we are there's all of them you're welcome and thanks for being with me best of luck